Welcome to chemistry class with Anakwe Christopher GK. Of course, your chemistry teacher. And uh, on the last video, we considered um, sulfur as an element and uh, everything about sulfur we need to know. Uh, we did it. Today, now, in this particular video, we are going to look at another part of it, which will be a compound of sulfur. One of the compounds of sulfur, we'll look at it. But still remember, if you are watching this particular video on the YouTube, remember to subscribe to this channel if you have not done that. So that whenever new video is being uploaded, you will get the notification for that. All right, let's continue in the topic for the, this uh, lesson. All right, is compound of sulfur. Uh, specifically, we are going to give attention to hydrogen sulfide. So we are going to consider hydrogen sulfide as a compound of sulfur and it's expected by the end of this video, you should be able to explain the laboratory and the industrial preparation of hydrogen sulfide. And next thing is you should be able to state the properties of sulfide, hydrogen sulfide, and outline the uses of hydrogen sulfide. So it's the sulfide that we want to discuss, the hydrogen sulfide, and uh, these things is what we're going to look at. So let's begin one after the other. How sulfide can be prepared? First of all, and what it is, then before the chemical properties, physical and chemical properties. All right. Hydrogen sulfide, first of all, of course, naturally, when animals and vegetable substances of high protein content decay. When animal and vegetable substances of high protein or, or protein substances decay, or high protein substances decay. Hydrogen sulfide can be released into the air during combustion of coal. It can be released in the air um, during combustion of coal. All right, next thing is this. How can we prepare it in the laboratory? Um, hydrogen sulfide should be or can be prepared in the laboratory by the action of dilute acid on ion 2 sulfide action of dilute acid on ion 2 sulfide in the laboratory. It is its preparation should be done or is being done in the fume chamber or fume keyboard because it's a poisonous gas. Whenever you want to prepare it, it should be in the fume keyboard. And how is it, is it being done? Place some chips of ion 2 sulfide uh, in a flat bottom flax and cover it with water. After setting, setting the apparatus, add some concentrated uh, HCl through the test tube funnel. Then after that, the uh, hydrogen sulfide gas will be liberated. The one that is liberated will be collected over water so that water will dissolve the trace of hydrogen chloride that will be formed. Now let's look at the shape, uh, the, the setup. Look at the setup, but before the setup, now uh, the, the, the gas, you pass that the gas through a U-tube containing a few casual chloride. This is a drying agent uh, to dry the gas. Then you collect the gas uh, through, through, through downward delivery since the gas is denser than air. And the equation for the reaction is this, just ion two sulfide reacts with uh, hydrogen chloride, concentrated hydrogen chloride and the uh, ion 2 chloride and uh, sulfur this is the sulfur that will be formed hydrogen sulfide sorry hydrogen sulfide that will be formed through downward delivery because it's denser than air but look at the setup in the lab which will be done in the fume cube the this is a clamp this is a clamp this is a test to funnel test to funnel that through which will for the HCl, dilute HCl or H2SO4, any of them can be used. Then this is the ion 2 sulfide that is in, in, in the, in the round bottom flask before pouring this one and uh, it will be delivered through downward delivery of, through downward delivery in the gas jar. So this is the laboratory preparation of hydrogen sulfide, which is being done in the laboratory. That is one of it. Another one we can use, um, it can be prepared using Kipps apparatus. Another way of preparing it is by using Kipps apparatus. 
Now, Kips apparatus is a device for obtaining intermediate supply of a gas, like hydrogen gas, carbon four oxide, or hydrogen. The apparatus consists of three chambers A, B, C. The solid reactant is packed in B, while A and C contain the solid reactant. Now, the next thing is that to produce hydrogen sulfide, the ion two sulfide once again, which is a reactant, is kept in B, and C is filled with dilute hydrogen chloride as a through the A. The same two uh, reactants, two compounds, will still react. It's just a matter of different apparatus to be used or set up. Now, one tap, tap which is tap T, we label the T, is open. The pressure inside B drops, and the acid C rises into B and reaction, which reacts with the ion 2 sulfide, which is delivered through the tap T. Tap T is turned off when the gas is no longer needed. Now, the gas which is being produced rises the temperature uh, inside B and pushes the acid down into C, according to just the setup. This stop the production of gas, of the gas. Now, look at it. Look at it, just the setup. Look at the setup A, B, C. This is the C. B is where the ion two uh, ion uh, ion sulfide ion two sulfide X. Then C and the B. This is A. This is B. This is C. You pour the acid through A, of course, as be, uh, just like before. And uh, this is the stopper, where to open and where to close. This is where to open, and this is where to close. If you want to stop it now. This is uh, another, just another, the same, another just set up whichever way you want to uh, see it, but the same thing is there. All right, this is the setup, and uh, this is Kip's app apparatus how hydrogen sulfide can be prepared in the lab and it's been collected through the stopper. Okay, um, it's been collected through the stopper when it's been open and when it's been closed. All right. Physical properties of hydrogen chloride, uh, hydrogen sulfide. Sorry for that uh, uh, slip of tongue. Hydrogen sulfide. One of it is that it's a colorless gas with characteristic smell of a rotten egg. It does not have a good smell. So the odor is like a rotten egg. Number two is that it's moderately soluble in water. Moderately. Number two is it's extremely toxic and poisonous. That is why we prepare it in the fume cupboard. Number four is that it burns with a pale blue flame and is denser than air. Next one is that it turns moist blue litmus paper red and has a low boil, uh, boiling point of minus 61 degrees Celsius. These are the physical properties of hydrogen sulfide and the chemical properties are these based on the, its behavior. So as an acid, as an acid now, Hydrogen sulfide is an acidic gas. It ionizes slightly in water to form a weak dibasic acid. And when bubbled through a sodium hydroxide solution, a normal salt and water are formed. All right, when bubbled what? through sodium hydroxide, look at it, sodium hydroxide and hydrogen sulfide, normal salts, and the water is formed, salt and water will form just the way acid does. So if you have the acidic behavior, that's why salt and water is being formed because we know that the reaction with, of acid and the base, uh, it will form salt and water only, which, is we, which we call neutralization reaction. So it does the way, it behaves that way here. Another one is that as a precipitating agent, which we use for analysis in the lab, when hydrogen sulfide is bubbled through solu a solution of metallic salt, a solution of metallic salts, the metallic sulfides are formed. It depends on a particular metallic uh, salt. Let's say that zinc sulfate is, is bubbled through, um, hydrogen sulfide is bubbled through uh, zinc sulfates. Zinc sulfide is formed. The sulfide of that particular metal, which is zinc, is formed and the acid 
in aqueous will also be there. But our point of concentration is the zinc sulfide. So it's also behave, uh, another chemical property is reaction with acid, with uh, oxygen. Hydrogen sulfide burns in air with a blue flame. I've said it before, one of the, uh, of the behavior of that. So in limited supply of air, sulfur is deposited. Hydrogen sulfide in limited supply of air, sulfur will be deposited when it burns in air. When there's a limited supply of uh, air, or oxygen, as the case may be. All right, in excess supply of air, carbon four oxide is formed normally. When there is an excess supply of air, carbon four oxide will be formed. Then the next number four chemical behavior is reaction with halogens. Reaction with halogens, hydrogen sulfide reduces halogens in aqueous solution with deposit of sulfur. See, it reduces this chlorine to hydrogen chloride and the sulfur will also be deposited. So he reacts with halogen. Either with this, he can also react with a bromine and iodine. Any of them, he will reduce it to the acid of that particular thing. Either hydrogen chloride, hydrogen bromide, hydrogen iodide, whichever, but sulfur will also be deposited. It depends on the particular halogen that you use. All right, that is what we have said so far. The next one now is hydrogen sulfide it should be hydrogen sulfide here hydrogen sulfide as a reducing agent with uh, hno3 with hno3 so as an reducing agent when you add one third of dilute hno3 which is triozonitrate 5 acid in a test tube pass um hydrogen sulfide into it you will see a brown fume of nitrogen for other that will be produced and the sulfur is also precipitated. This is the equation for the reaction for that. HNO3 is bubbled or passed, uh, uh, hydrogen sulfide is being passed over this and you will see nitrogen four oxide will be, pres uh, will be formed and the sulfur will also be precipitated. So uh, hydrogen sulfide acts as a reducing agent here with this. Okay. Hydrogen sulfide reduces uh, HNO3 to nitrogen 4 oxide. So it also reduces concentrated HCSO4 to sulfur 4 oxide and itself is oxidized to sulfur, just like the other one. The way he reduces HNO3 to nitrogen 4 oxide, it will also reduce HCSO4 to sulfur 4 oxide and itself will be reduced to sulfur. And uh, this is it. This is it. All right, now, because of heat, concentrated H2SO4 will not be used to dry sulfur, uh, hydrogen sulfide. Chlorine, chlorine gas, is also reduced to hydrogen chloride gas. And in, in the process, the green color of chlorine gas and the yellow fume of sulfur will be seen on the wall of the gas jar. On the wall of the gas jar. All right, that is it. And uh, this is the reaction. This is the reaction. And the hydrogen sulfide also reduces sulfur for all that to sulfur since it is a stronger reducing agent. And this is this. Sulfur for all that is being reduced to sulfur. And the equation for the reaction is this. And the next thing we need to know is that uh, uh, ion 3 chloride is also reduced to ion 2 chloride from ion 3 to ion 2. Hydrogen sulfide has that capacity as a reducing agent. So we see it here, ETC, it has other, other also elements that can also do that. So what have we done is this. Before we end this particular video, we are going to look at the uses of hydrogen sulfide. And number one is that it is needed in qualitative analysis. That is for identification of unknown substances. Of course, we use that and hydrogen sulfide will precipitate black copper two sulfide from this copper nitrates with zinc this is the equation for the reaction and an acid medium addition of dilute hydrochloric acid depresses the ionization of hydrogen sulfide which is weak acid the next thing we need to know all this is just for analysis 
for qualitative analysis, concentrated uh, hydrogen sulfide aqueous will not precipitate zinc sulfide, but we precipitate others. Note, silver sulfide, um, mercury sulfide, copper two sulfide, uh, lead sulfide, all, all of them, all black. And the tin, tin, which is brown, will, precipitate, will be precipitated in acid medium, while zinc sulfide, uh, ion two sulfide, manganese sulfide, um, cobalt sulfide, nickel sulfide will be precipitated in alkaline medium. All right, sulfide, sulfide of, uh, of group one and group two or group three of sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, uh, aluminium, and barium are not precipitated out. They are not precipitated out. Okay, how can we test for this? How can we test for hydrogen sulfide? Number one is that. Uh, it's a colorless gas with smell of rotten egg. I've said it before, and it heats the the colorizes KMnO4 with yellow deposit of sulfur. Number two is that it changes the orange color of potassium dichromate series to green with yellow deposits of sulfur. Next one is that with lead two triose nitrate five hydrogen sulfide thorn filter paper that has been moistened with lead two triose nitrate five solution to blue dark due to the formation of black lead 2 sulfide this is the equation for the reaction lead 2 sulfide this is it and uh, that is the test with this you can test the hydrogen sulfide all right before we end it still remember that for further discussion and inquiry get to me through my phone line plus two three four zero zero eight plus two three four eight zero six five five seven three two two nine or email address at crystal112 at gmail.com. Thank you for being part of this particular video and remain blessed.